Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Today, we're making combo cured turbot with a nice ponzu chili dressing. But before we have a look at the ingredients here on the board, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is out. But now, let's have a look at the board. We have our beautiful turbot. We've already cured it. And I'll show you how we did that. We did it last night. Have a look. Beautiful piece of turbot, around 500 grams. We need a bit of salt, um, sea salt, and some combo leaves. Now, I'll take this away. The first thing we need to do is just to remove the skin. So the easiest way to do that is to turn it over. Grab a hold of it. And kind of turn the fish, uh, turn the edge of the knife downwards. I need to sharpen my knives. But there we have the skin. I'll straighten the board again. We have a beautiful piece of filet. Just trim this part here. And now we need to prepare, and I'll show you how we do that. We we'll remove this, and we cover our board with some cling film. Grab two combo leaves. Take our fish, try to salt it evenly. Put that side down. And we salt the top as well. Spread it out a little bit more. Now we come back and we'll see if we can fold this without breaking it too much. And we kind of just wrap this around the other leaf. And do the same here, overlap a bit. Try to wrap it. And we get our plastic wrap. Now you want to try to wrap this tight. Get one more piece of cling film. Make it tight as you can of a package. Now, into the fridge for six hours to cure. So six hours, it gets a bit more firmness and you can smell the, it's a kind of a smell of the ocean. The, the seafood, uh, the, not the seafood, the algae salt smells beautifully. For the dressing, we have 80 grams of lime juice that we squeezed fresh. We have 80 grams of soy sauce. Again, this is a gram recipe, again from my dear friend, Eddie. Uh, 40 grams of ponzu and 40 grams of mirin. We also have 15 grams of sesame oil and about a tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. Now that's kind of a staple in Asian cooking in general, but for sure in Chinese, and you can buy it in most Asia stores. It comes in jars and it's called chili garlic sauce or chili garlic paste. 
And we have some small shallots, and we're going to use them to decorate. We're going to fry them really hard so that they cannot get burnt on the edges, but I'll show you. Complicated to explain. But let's start with the marinade. We can basically put all the liquids except the oil together. So that was the lime juice, the soya sauce, the ponzu, and the mirin. And to that we add the chili garlic. And now we add the sesame oil, but relatively slow, so that it emulsifies. I'll just give this a taste to see if we're happy. Let's add a bit more of chili garlic paste. Although this is, by the way, what it looks like. We add another good tablespoon. Just whisk that up quickly. Give it another last taste. Perfect. We can put this to the side now, and I'll show you what we do with the shallots. So this is really easy. We put a frying pan on medium-high heat, nothing in the pan, so no fat. And then we just split the shallots in half. It's like almost as if you're making stock. The problem with these shallots is sometimes they're just two in one and they will be difficult to pick out. Well, let's see, I think that's okay. So we just have them like this. And now we just put them, I'll just show you it's not, we put them with the cut side down. It's like when you, when you uh, blacken onions for a stock, it's a very similar process. So no, nothing in the pan, medium high heat. And we'll leave them there to blacken and then I'll show you what we do next. Our onions are ready. So this is what you're looking for. A medium high heat because you don't want them to burn too fast before they're kind of ready. Oh, it's a bit hot. You can leave them to cool, but I just want to show you one. And then you can do this yourself. I'll just pick out the individual kind of oh, hot. The individual layers like that. So let them cool a bit, then pick it out, and then we'll continue with the fish. I'll show you how we slice the fish. Our onions are done. The rest we have to do, or the last thing we have to do, is to cut the fish. I'll take another knife. Looking for relatively thin slices, a couple of millimeters. And this is going to take a while. So I'll leave you to do it yourself. And once we're done with this, the only thing we have to do is to plate up. So I'll see you with a plate and with uh, all the ready ingredients in a bit. We have our turbot, nicely sliced. There's a lot more, but that's for the family. Now, before we plate this up, if you stuck with it this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but it's so valuable for me. But now let's plate this up. Now you can do this however you want to. 
main thing is they sh should be on a plate. And I tried the fish raw, and it's crazy how much of the combo actually comes through. I mean, as you saw, it was just curing for six hours in the fridge, but those six hours really gave it a nice kind of umami texture. I need to get one more from the other plate. So, there we go. Now we place our onions. Something like that. Maybe two more. One here. And one there. Now onto our marinade. Try to go down at the bottom of the container because you have there's that's where you have the garlic pieces and the chili pieces. You can be quite generous with this. And this was not on the ingredients, but I just Cut off the green of some spring onions. We just add that as well. It's decoration and a little bit of flavor. And there we go. Our combo cured turbot with the ponzu and chili dressing. Now let's try. Let's grab one of these babies with an onion. Can I get the onion as well? Yes. The fish has a really nice texture. That also comes from, from curing it. It gets a bit more firm. Sweetness from the onion. A little bit of the charness, but not much. Just a nice hint of it. Nice saltiness. Nice freshness from the lime and the poncho. Mm. I think a really nice starter in summer. It's light. You can even do a bigger portion and do it like a like a sharing dish um, as a main course. Oh, it's perfect and it's it's very easy as you saw. You know, it's good food is not difficult or does not have to be difficult. It can be very difficult, but it does not have to be difficult. So thank you again to Eddie from Mochi for creating this dish. Um, thank you to you for watching. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you have any feedback, leave a comment below. If you're not a subscriber yet, check the subscribe and check the bell icon. But now that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.